Boris Johnson's promise to level up Britain is stuck in reverse. Boris Johnson won a sweeping election victory in 2019 with two promises. One to complete Brexit and two to level up Britain. That's to say, spread wealth and opportunity across the UK and close the gap between the most deprived areas and the richer region of London and the South East. Bloomberg has produced an exclusive data analysis to track whether Johnson is achieving that goal. Now we took the government's own policy paper on levelling up and we've tracked the metrics that they want to improve by 2030. We're asking a simple question of every constituency in the UK. Are you closing the gap with London and the South East since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister or are you falling further behind? What do we measure? We've analysed 12 metrics that track the levelling up goal. These include things like pay, inward investment, productivity, well-being, and government spending on transport and public services. What do we find? Our main finding is that the overall majority of constituencies have fallen further behind London and the South East since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. The areas that have done best include the North East, and parts of London have really surged ahead. Why has this happened? In developing our levelling up tracker, we've spoken to MPs, civil servants, public policy experts, and through that research, we've identified five key reasons why the levelling up agenda has stalled. One, the pandemic. The pandemic had a threefold effect of aggravating deprivation in the poorest parts of the UK, consuming significant governing capacity in Whitehall and Westminster, and also damaging the public finances, such that there's simply a lot less money to spend on levelling up. Two, distractions. Boris Johnson's administration has faced many distractions over the past few years, whether it's the pandemic, or dealing with the economic headwinds of Brexit, the cost of living crisis, the Partygate scandal, which has rocked his premiership, or indeed, latterly, Russia's war with Ukraine. There's been a lot to think about apart from levelling up. Three, funding. Many say levelling up will only occur with a bazooka of billions of new investment in deprived areas, and we haven't seen that from this government. But Boris Johnson's team says that simply shifting the existing profile of government spending to more deprived areas will itself spur levelling up. Four, commitment. There are still question marks over the commitment in Whitehall and Westminster to devolve power and resources to the rest of the UK. And our data shows that on metrics such as civil service employment, spending on transport and services, there's still a lot more that could be done. Five, time. Many in power say levelling up will take time and you don't fix decades of underinvestment in areas overnight. And that's fine, but the Conservative Party has been in power since 2010. So the challenge for Boris Johnson is convincing voters that he is making progress on this agenda. If he can't, he risks losing power.